Hey, happy Monday. Have you given yourself permission to do your thing? Because you got to give yourself permission to do it. Like, before you can really start doing it, I think. Let's talk about it. Good morning, lovely people of the planet. This is Jeffo. This is the... <coughs> Excuse me. This is the, your host choking up. No, this is the Morning Ride Pedal Powered Podcast. I'm uh, glad to be on the ride with you this morning. Hey, good morning on your left here. Well, we had discussions about what it means to be a creative artist. I don't know anything, folks. I'm just a dude on a bike doing my best to evolve as a filmmaker, as a poet, writer, and human being. I really appreciate you letting me ride along with you. So I'm trying to make my first feature film, and uh, so there's a lot of discussions around creativity and uh, inspiration, staying on uh, the discipline, staying on a practice. <laughs> and over the weekend, had some very special guests. So let's see. Okay, so one lane and tunnel. They're uh, going to be painting this tunnel. They've hired an artist to paint it. So I am so excited to see this progress. Oh man, they're not here yet this morning. I don't think they start until nine, which is good because there are a lot of folks in and out before that. But how cool is that, man? Hire an artist to paint underground art galleries along bike trails. I absolutely love it. All right, so long as they don't paint the wall. Woo, that was a good one today. Yeah, you feeling frisky on this cool morning? It's only 55 degrees. So we had some very special guests this weekend in town who are moving from Texas to Boise. Got to see their, fir their new house, it's being remodeled. Got to hang out in it for the first time together. It was so good to see you, M&T. We were also hanging out with e &M. <laughs> He had this cool idea, which I have wanted to do. I've wanted to do this on a foraging level, which doesn't make sense because we're none of us that clever, but we may get there someday. So the idea was, we went to the farmer's market downtown Boise and uh, he was like, yeah, let's just kind of see what inspires us and then each of us will bring a dish. And he said that he and them would take care of the main dish, which, hey, good morning. It was awfully benevolent of them. He's getting to be quite the culinary cook. He's been doing a lot of vegan stuff. You know, Jennifer and I are vegan type people. Most are, I'm mostly vegan type people. Okay, I know. We're gonna get into that someday because it is kind of interesting. How I primarily, con I consider myself a vegan, but I'm not like a religious vegan. <laughs> I don't come from Vega. <laughs> That's the planet in, uh, which one is it? Slaughterhouse-Five? Am I getting it totally wrong? The Kurt Vonnegut story? Oh man. Anyway, so we were getting there, and Ethan was kind of telling us his idea. Oh, he, he was telling us our, his idea, and uh, and uh, him jokingly said, "Okay, so I'm waiting for my instructions for inspiration," <laughs> and it really cracked me up because part of inspiration is like knowing what are the rules and what is the context. For me, context. It's very, very meaningful when I'm working on an art project. With photography, if I'm wanting to shoot something at night, of course it has to be night, right? So that's the context. Um, I've been wanting to do this skateboarding series at night. So I've been trying to figure out how to do that and uh, how to ride a skateboard and take photos at night at the same time. <clears throat> well, what is going on here? Look at this, we got a big truck on the trail. Big truck on the trail. 
anyway, I was really impressed, or really impressed. It tickled me when M said, okay, I'm waiting on my instructions for inspiration. Because I think what she was talking about, asking about, was, hey, good morning. Well, it's what's the context, you know? Because you can be inspired at a farmer's market, you can be inspired a million different ways to prepare a million different meals. So I think she was talking about context. I mean, she was making a joke. But then I got to thinking about how this applies to like any creative endeavor, like fixing a meal, not knowing what's available to you. And I was thinking about uh, the, the, one of the biggest, hey, good morning. One of the biggest struggles that I'm having with the film project is um, not seeing an overall vision for it. I see bits and pieces of it. I know kind of where we're headed. I kind of think I know where we're starting. Um, but I don't see how we make those transitions. You know, are they subtle transitions? Are they um, abrupt? You know, is, it, is the film about contrast? See, it's not really. It's more about evolution and so I think there has to be a more gradual approach through the the visual identity of our main character. I think that that we have to see that and experience that visual difference slowly over time. And I got to thinking well so back to the comment I got to thinking about waiting my instructions for inspiration and I got to thinking about permission and giving myself permission to work on this project at all because it takes a whole lot of time. Hey, good morning on your left here. Because it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of energy. As uh, you guys know, I, my mood swings with it because sometimes it goes well, sometimes it doesn't go at all. Um, how do you handle it when it's not going well at all? How do you handle it when it's going really well? Oh yeah, it's the first day of classes. We're gonna run into a lot of people here pretty soon, I think. Hey, good morning, squeezing around your left here. And somehow that led me into the idea of giving myself permission to work on these projects and how working on Poco a Poco is part of my morning. I get up and write in the mornings first thing. Well, I take a shower first, wake up a little bit, then get right into it, into the writing. And then, uh, so that's the, the generative phase of it. And then the evenings is more about research and uh, kind of putting things together. You know, watching reference films, that sort of thing. But I remember that I still struggle with giving myself permission to do this creative project because it's in a way it's a very selfish thing because I'm doing it because I like to be creative that's it that I mean that really is the bottom line and so starting that a lot of times is tough and we all have different approaches but for me I just kind of had to make it part of my routine kind of like getting on the bike every morning is part of my routine of getting to work Also, there's a lot of lifestyle built into that, obviously. If, uh, if I'm riding a bike to work and home every day, obviously that means that I'm probably not gonna be as concerned about like getting other exercise in. While I often don't consider this to be extremely, I consider it to be active, but not necessarily great exercise, so. But I do feel like physical activity is built into my routine in the same way that my creative evolution as a filmmaker is built into my routine. And so I've given myself permission to do these things. This way also, in the evenings when, uh, you know, we gotta hit Home Depot or like this week, I think I might have to start working on the fascia a little bit for the gutters, underneath the gutters. Because I'd like to get that done before it gets cold. <laughs> and we don't know when that's gonna happen because it's been such a mild summer. That could be happening any second. Oh man. 
man, look at that, people everywhere. But that way, if the, uh, if the creative aspects, if I've already done my creative work early in the morning, then when I get to the day job, that's cool. And hey, good morning, squeezing on your right here. I want to get to the day job. I feel like I can do my day job. I've done my work in the morning. I kind of use the 10% rule. I try to spend 10% of my day doing creative work. And I get in about an hour and a half in the morning, so that's close to 10%. But that's about as much as I can write at one sitting right now anyway, so it works out perfectly. So do you have difficulty giving yourself permission? How do you line up a context so that you can do your creative practice. You have to set aside a chunk of time. I know that like for when I was building the table, building some of the furniture in our house, um, you know, that was like, well, you got to have at least, you know, at least four or five hours to drag all the gear out, um, make the mess, clean up the mess and actually get any work done. So. We built that into the weekends more than we built that into the daily. But again, that's not my primary thing. I think we're going to talk about that too on uh, Thursday, a little bit of creative cross training. <laughs> How you get it all in. So do you, what, are your, what are your issues with permission? Do you have a problem giving yourself permission to be creative? Do you have a daily practice or do you do it in fits and spurts? People do all kinds of things. Whatever works for you is the thing that works. <laughs> it doesn't matter how other people do it. I just know for me, I gotta get up, say it's okay, it's cool for you to be working on this project, and uh, do that for myself. Well, folks, that's it for me today. I hope you give yourself permission to do your thing, your creative thing, your life thing, you're working toward your thing. I mean, we give ourselves permission to go to college to better ourselves. I don't know why we wouldn't give ourselves permission to be creative throughout the day, you know? <laughs> it's the same thing. It's all development. Folks, I hope that you have a fantastic week. If you love riding a bicycle, get out on a bicycle. Whatever your bicycle may be. Maybe it is woodworking or welding or Maybe you're trying to write a film too. If you are, I'd love to hear about your struggles, about your successes, what you're finding that works for you. Any tips would be gratefully appreciated. Folks, hope to see you out on the ride. It is the only one we get. I look forward to riding with you again on Thursday. <laughs>